A thread by Stu's work. The Dementiocrats own the violence. Democrats can try, but won't succeed at distancing themselves from the violence they have enabled on American streets. People surely know where the Democrats have stood on this, and that they're now backpedaling only because of polling data. To blame this violence on Trump because he's in office is like blaming him for the border wall not being erected fast enough. It's like blaming him for the economic slowdown caused by the coronavirus when, in fact, he has personally tried over strenuous democratic obstruction to sensibly and safely reopen our economy. It would be like blaming him for abortions because they have persisted during his first term despite his valiant efforts for the innocent unborn. Democratic mayors and governors have all but encouraged this mayhem. Many have consistently rejected Trump's offer of federal law enforcement assistance to quell the riots. Many have cavalierly misrepresented the violence as peaceful protests. Democratic CNN has called the Kenosha riots fiery but mostly peaceful. And the Democratic Virginia Senate just passed a bill allowing assaults on police officers to be mere misdemeanors. Republicans are the party of law and order, and Democrats are the party of lawlessness and disorder. Democrats own these riots. They own this endless leftist drumbeat of hatred toward America and everything it stands for. Read the rest here, WND.com. Democrats own the riots. Too late for backpedaling.